three different sizes of vertical toggle clamps, small, medium, and large. And the main difference is the reach of the clamp from the base. The small only goes out a little bit, whereas the large you can reach pretty far away from the base. To release the clamp, you just pull down on the lever and to clamp it, go ahead and just pop it there vertically to lock it in place. All three of these are made out of some really nice material, uh, very thick metal. Um, there's not a lot to them, um, so I, they are very smooth acting and I expect them to last pretty much forever. Um, the clamp itself is adjustable up and down a little bit. Um, you've got two nuts here, you just uh, loosen those and then you can thread uh, the clamp a little bit further down or further back and then go ahead and take two wrenches and tighten that up. You also have the reach that you can slide in and out. The big one here has quite a lot of reach that you can slide where exactly you want to position that. And then you go ahead and dial in the depth, the clamping pressure, um, put it where you want it um, by threading this up and down and then lock the two opposing nuts in place to keep it nice and solid. Location where I was recently using these type of toggle clamps. I've got a jig here that I was uh, would attach to my workpiece here. I've just got it on the workbench. And then I was having, I had multiple curved pieces that I would lay inside of here and then use the toggle clamp. Reach down, lock this end and lock this end and then go ahead and run my router along that jig. When I was done with this curve, unlock my toggle clamps take that one out, grab my other curve, put it in, lock it down at both ends, and then go ahead and run my router again. I ended up with two routed grooves of different curves where I could place my inlay. The toggle clamp works beautifully in this application. Once I made my jig, I simply screw down the toggle clamp to my fixture. Now I can slide my middle piece in, which is the same height as my fixture. Once I've dialed in my clamp height, I simply toggle it down to hold it in place, pop it off, and I can slide it back out. One key is that the pieces here in the center are always the same heights. So once I've dialed in my clamping pressure, I can lock and unlock at that exact